Hi everyone, almost at the end of version 3 development now, so I thought I'd just run through the latest changes I've made. Um, for a start, we don't have investor mode or trader mode anymore, we've just got one mode to make it simpler, and I show the three channels on one graph, so we've got the 50 day channel, 20 day channel and 10 day channel, so I think that simplifies things a bit. Um, the other main changes that I've made recently are to the trending list calculations. Now if we go into trending list, we select trending list, what it will do is actually calculate the trends for all the shares in the current category. So at the moment we're on FT100, it's now calculated all the trends for all the shares in the FT100 and ordered them on the 50 day channel. So immediately you can see the shares which are trending strongly right down to the shares at the bottom which are trending weekly or trending down. Now there's a couple of things you can do here. You can order the columns that we're viewing here at the moment. So at the moment we're sorted on the 50 day channel. Um, if you click it again, it'll flip the sort order. So you'll get the ones with the weakest trends, flip it again to be the strongest trends. And you can do that for the 20 day channel, 10 day channel. You can also do it alphabetically. So if we click on there, you can sort shares alphabetically. So let's just put it back to where we were, there we are. <coughs> the other thing I want to say is these numbers here, this number here is the gradient of the share channel over one day. So for example the Bark 50 day channel is going up at just over 1% a day, the 20 day channel is going up at a quarter percent a day and the 10 day channel is actually going down slightly. The numbers over here are the positions of the current share price in the channel. So for example, um, on Bark, the share price is 12% between the bottom and the top of the 50 day channel. 0% would mean it's at the bottom of the 50 day channel. 100% would mean that it's at the top of the 50 day channel. And that rule applies to the 20 day channel and the 10 day channel. So that's very useful if you want to look for shares which are near the bottom of channels. So for example, HSBA. We can see from here that we're 1% from the bottom of the channel. So if we go and look at the graph, you can see straight away that we are actually right on the bottom of the channel. So that's very useful. The other thing you can do once you select a share, so we go to the top of the list, you can go through the list quite quickly by just hitting this button here. It will go through the list and change the graph. Similarly, you can go back up through the list. So that makes it all very quick. And of course you've got the full FT100 shares in this list, so it's a very quick and easy way of banging through the list. So we'll go back up to the top. The other thing I've added is filtering. So obviously here we've got all the FT100 shares. Uh, you can sort them, but it may be you want to start homing in a bit and refining your, your search criteria. So for example, if we click on show only strongest long term, that'll just give you the shares which have a strong 50 day channel and for this example it's anything above 0.5 so that's immediately reduced your list right down. You may want to look at shares which are strong, strongly trending over the last 20 days. So if we click on that selection there you've now got all the ones which are trending strongly over 20 days and they're automatically sorted on that 20 day order there. So that again can be very useful. The other nice feature which is probably the most powerful, is you've now got a user-defined filter. So it looks a bit more complicated, but it is quite powerful. You can now go through and select your own criteria for picking out shares. So at the moment we're back to having all 100 shares. It may be you want to look for all shares where the 50-day channel is greater than, say, 0.25% a day. Um, that's already got rid of some of the shares in the list. We can say we also want it where the 20 day channel is greater than say 0.5% a day. So these are all ending up together. So this is now saying show me all the shares where the 50 day channel is greater than 0.25, the 20 day channel is greater than 0.5 and perhaps you want to look for where the 10 day channel is greater than 0. So we've got a channel which is going up. So now we've got just we're down to about 10 shares here 
and now you can just look through the list and all the shares in this list now satisfy that criteria so I think I have to say that's quite a quite a powerful feature the other thing you can do which is also quite useful is you can also filter on where the share price is relative to the channel so for example we may these filters still apply but we can add in more filters to say we only want to look at shares which satisfy all these criteria plus we want ones where the 50 day channel the share price is within say 20% of the bottom of the channel so we do sorry that's the wrong one we do 50 is less than 20% and of course there's nothing so let's go to 50 okay so what that's saying now is these are the shares which satisfy all these conditions here but also the 50 day channel the share price is below 50% which means it's below halfway so it's a bit complicated to start with but it's sort of thing you get used to after a while so just to check as we have seen now all the entries in the 50 day percentage are less than 50 so that means all these shares are below halfway in the 50 day channel the other thing you can do is you can now save this because obviously you don't want to have to keep entering it every time you run the program so you can now save the filter so now when we come out of the program and you exit the program and restart the program that will be saved to a file on disk so you've, you've always got that so just to prove it we'll go back in just calculating the list again go to use defined and all the settings are there for you and it's already done the sort and the filtering for you as well so you can set up quite complex filtering and whatever you want to look at and um, it'll do it all automatically for you that's about it up to now we're almost finished so hopefully the software and the website will be finished in a few weeks thank you very much